Blue Shield of California pulled its summer retreat from Huntington Beach in Southern California today after the city voted to ban the rainbow flag, a symbol of LGBTQ rights from city-owned property. As it turns out, the Orange County city is just one of more than a dozen communities across the country that have recently done the same. It's a trend that our media partner, the San Francisco Standard, is taking a closer look at. Joining us live now is the Standard's reporter, Julie Zagaris. Julie, thanks for your time today. Thanks for having me. So what exactly does Huntington Beach's new ordinance say? Well, it's prohibiting the display of the rainbow flag. And sometimes the bad faith argument is used here saying that, well, if we display one flag, we have to display all flags. And so we also have to display Confederate flags and other flags. And this is really a bad faith argument that's inaccurate and it's being used across the country as a reason not to show the rainbow flag. I mean, have they gotten groups coming to them to say, hey, we want to fly our Confederate flag or other ones that they found questionable? Well, it depends on the location. So in more conservative um, cities such as school districts in West Virginia, they're outright banning the flag because they see it as a political statement and they're using those grounds. But to be clear, this is also happening in very liberal communities like in Cold Spring, New York. And there, they're, the town council people are, are really caving to pressure, outside pressure that, hey, you know, if we have this one flag, we have to have them all. And it's not an accurate statement. And that is why the ACLU and the Gilbert Baker Foundation have stepped stepped up to really address these claims. You, you mentioned a few of the communities that have recently passed such bans. I just want to pull up a map from the Gilbert Baker Foundation website so that people can get a sense for how this is from coast to coast. Um, by the way, the Gilbert Baker Foundation, Gilbert Baker, who created the rainbow flag back in the 1970s. He's an artist and activist from the San Francisco area. But talk to us about some of these cities. As you said, they have different reasons. Are they surprising to you? They are. And, you know, when you look at the map, it's also surprising to see the spread. So this isn't, you know, concentrated in one area. It's not primarily in the south. It's not only in the center of the country. Places that we would think of as maybe Wait, leaning Portland? more. Am I seeing Portland? Yeah, yeah, exactly my point, right? So we're seeing this really throughout the country, which is really terrifying. And it's part of a larger raft of GOP pressure to really um, censor um, gay symbols. Even using the word gay um, has been banned in certain school districts in Florida where these don't say gay laws are being passed and other states are trying to follow suit. And so it's not just the rainbow flag, it's also uh, LGBTQ language, it's drag queen story times, it's books about gender identity that are being pulled from libraries. So we really see this as part of a larger uh, effort that is happening to really suppress right. um, gay symbols and, and gay rights. Right. Just in terms of Huntington Beach here, did they not also raise the upcoming Olympics, Summer Olympics in 2028 in Los Angeles as a issue or a driver or a factor? Uh, that I'm not, I'm not sure about. I, my sources did not mention that. All right. Yeah, there were some who talked about, can we fly the Olympic flag or, you know, mm. as you said, lots of reasons were given. But you talked to Gilbert Baker uh, for this story. What does he say about it? Well, I spoke with Charlie Beal, who's president of the Gilbert Baker Foundation. Mm. Um, Sally Gilbert Baker is, uh, you know, no longer with us. But Charlie Beale, um, who represents the organization, um, he, again, sees this as part of a larger and troubling trend that uh, is really happening across the country. And as the president of an organization whose founder created the rainbow flag and created this symbol that is now ubiquitous across the country, a symbol that is one of hope and joy and acceptance and love, he knew immediately he needed to do something and his organization had to do something. And that's why they created this toolkit along with the ACLU where you can go and self-report, 
bands that you're hearing of in your community. Um, you can also download documents and um, kind of talking notes for addressing local politicians, for speaking to the media, uh, for addressing this problem so that people can really get out there and, and fight for their rights. So is that the same website? Um, I think we show the map, right? I think that is the same website, the Gilbert Baker Foundation website. Um, and once people self-report, are there things that they can do to, I guess, um, then create advocacy? For sure, definitely. So a lot of it is about addressing your local politicians and there are form letters there, there are templates you can use so that you can reach out and you know, address some of the misinformation out there because some people don't understand why this is even happening and are caving to pressure that they don't realize is not accurate. And so just having the knowledge mm -hmm. and knowing that yep. this is something that you can address is really important. Julie Zagaris, thank you so much. Of course, you can check out Julie's article at the sfstandard.com website.